Now when we're giving a presentation, it may be advantageous to control how long each slide sits on the screen before it transitions. In this video, we'll learn how we can set that up using slide timings. There's a few ways I can control the timing for my slides. Here I have my simple three slide presentation. And if I go to the transitions tab here on the ribbon, look on the right hand side, I have this little area here called advanced slide. This controls when the slide goes from this slide to the next slide. By default, it's set to on mouse click. You can see that's checked on, which means if I preview my show by pressing F5 here, it waits for me to click my mouse before it goes on to the next slide. I'm just going to press escape here. And that's normal. But let's say I want it to transition after just two seconds of sitting on the screen. Well, I can uncheck on mouse click and check on the after feature here and set it to the duration that I want PowerPoint to wait before it goes on to the next slide. So I'll set it to two seconds and I'll go and preview my show here and uh, it'll go to my first slide, wait for a couple seconds and there it goes on to the next slide. You can see on this slide here, it's just waiting. It's waiting again for me to click my mouse. And that's because I'd have to go into each slide here, slide two, and I have to set this one to be not on mouse click, but after a certain amount of time. And I could go ahead and I could do that for each slide. And I'm just going to set this back to on mouse click for both of these. There's another way as well. And I'm going to go over here to the slideshow tab on the ribbon. One thing I should also mention, if you are using timings like this, you'll want to make sure this checkbox, Use Timings, is checked on before this will work. However, there's also something we can do here called Rehearse Timings. So let's say we're going to be giving a speech along with our PowerPoint presentation, and we want it to just change automatically behind us as we're speaking. So what I can do is start rehearsing timings. It'll play my show, and um, well, here, why don't I just press it? And there's a little menu here that sort of pops in that says recording, and you can see it's counting time. And here it's waiting six seconds, seven seconds, so I could go ahead and keep talking. And when I'm ready to go on to my next slide, I'm going to go ahead and press the next button here. That'll transition to the next slide and restart my counter, and I can go ahead and keep giving my presentation. If I need to pause for a second, I can press the pause button, and you can see my box comes up here saying recording paused. If I need to resume, I can resume my recording, go on to my next slide here when I'm ready. Again, I can see the slider goes ahead and recounts itself. And I'm going to go to the next slide. And that'll go ahead and finish up. And it says here the total time for the slideshow was 27 seconds. Do you want to keep the new slide timings to use when you view the slideshow? So I'll say yes, I want to keep these timings. And if I go back to my presentation here, you can see it takes me into my slide sorter view. And I can see exactly how long each slide is going to display for. And if I go ahead and press F5 to preview my show, I can go ahead and I can start giving my speech, saying what I need to say, and the slides are automatically going to transition after that amount of time. This one I think was set to 13 seconds, so it may take a bit here before it actually transitions. There it goes, goes on to my next one, so on and so forth. So when you're doing slide timings, take your time and do a few dry runs, go through your presentation to make sure everything syncs up for the actual show.